Though breaking tonight, an undercover agent hurt during an officer-involved shooting. I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Lisa Bell. The large scene is unfolding at the Target along Sand Lake Road near the Florida Mall. New 6's Troy Campbell is there live tonight with the latest. Troy. Well, detectives have been out here for several hours investigating after they say one of their undercover officers was involved in a shooting. So take a look at that scene. They still have this entire section of the parking lot blocked off tonight. There's also several crime scene investigators continuing to collect evidence. A bad guy was shot and our officer was also injured. Orlando police alongside the Orange County Sheriff's Office investigating a shooting outside the target on the 800 block of Sand Lake Road at about 730 this evening. Police say an officer with the agency's undercover narcotics and organized crime unit was conducting surveillance in the area. Investigators aren't detailing who fired any weapons, only saying the male suspect was shot and is in critical condition. The officer also suffering a minor injury. Where possibly some fragments went into his arm or possibly into his eye. He is a veteran of 14 years with the Orlando Police Department. The shooting taking place in the parking lot of the busy shopping center. He can't get access to our car, so I'm trying to work out rides for someone to get my kids and my husband's coming to get her. Emily Handy says she was shopping with her daughter when they heard the commotion outside. We were in the store for about 45 minutes and we just heard a bunch of sirens, you know, which is kind of normal on Sand Lake Road. So we didn't even think anything about it. It was when we came out to walk to the car that we realized something else was going on. Now, if you take a look, you can also see this undercover vehicle came to a stop here in the bushes in the parking lot. But right now it's unclear which car that agent was in. And again, Orlando police have yet to confirm who fired any weapons, but they add that investigators with the Florida Department of Law Enforcement are out here. And we also expect to learn more details in the morning. Live in Orlando tonight, Troy Campbell getting results. News 6.